Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Jacques Tallert. Welcome to the Pratira Accounting Services YouTube channel. And uh, in this episode, we are going to talk about how relationships can benefit you. I am joined by Gerard Jacobs from JGT Accounting, and we are going to talk about how relations. Well, I've, I've said that already. All right, <laughs> cue the intro, and then let's go. Great. Thanks, Jock. Thanks for having me. I'm quite excited being on your channel. And uh, I think we're going to talk about exciting stuff. You know, talking about relationships. Um, yeah, we've actually known each other for quite a while, eh? Well, yeah. Um, 2007. It's been a 2007. while. 2007. It's been a while. Uh, that nice flight down to Cape Town in 2007. Tell me, what do you remember about that flight we had down to Cape Town? Well... I remember it was, it was you know, for me, I was a, a university student and I was flying down to Cape Town to go and visit my family over the December holidays. And um, I, I remember, th you know, having, the, this was about my third or so flight, you know, routinely going down to Cape Town to, to visit family from Joburg. And um, I, I, I remember a lot of times people don't really want to chat. So if, if they're on a flight, they want to have a nap or, you know, read a book or something like that. <clears throat> No. they're not really interested in chatting so um i'm not usually a very talkative person believe it or not and w one thing that stood out for me was was the openness that you and your mom had on on the flight where we could you know, converse for pretty much most of the flight and then as we were getting ready to descend your mom gave me a breath mint and not because my my breath stank which it probably did, but she said it was, you know, to to keep my ears open on on the way down um, with the with the change in altitude and the air pressure and all of that, so my ears don't hurt. And because I was a bit, I, if I recall correctly, I did have a bit of a cold, so my sinuses were blocked and, and things like that. So I appreciated the breath mint, and I thought to myself, this is a freaking cool idea. I should remember this. And um, it's one of the reasons why even if I don't have any, any sweeties or something with me, if I go to, if I'm on a flight, I just pop by Wimpy and buy a, a coffee just so I can get two or so sweeties for for the descent <laughs> wherever I'm going. So 15 years later, and you still use that when you're on a flight. <laughs> well, if, if, if this was one of those life hacks that I learned at the time. What, what, what do you remember most about the flight? Well, I remember... You know the whole situation getting on and what embarking and disembarking then this is wrong with the plane and, and we delayed and getting to cape town late that night <laughs> you know that was quite fun but but except for that is actually that that was one of the flights you know we had with everything happening embarking disembarking the gears and the proper south african gears was on that flight and that's what I remember the most, you know, uh, because everyone was just so beyond frustrated, you know, it just became fun. You just accepted so your lot, eh? That was one of those things. <laughs> yeah. No, but, you know, I remember that from the, you know, there was a, I call it a long time that we were actually, um, we didn't speak or didn't get to see each other, but because I know your family and, and that's, you know, one of the things I think we had in common is me knowing your family quite well and your family knowing my family. Um, you know, at some stage we met each other again. Can you remember that? I, I do. Uh, it, it, this was a, a relative, um, a, a relatively important part of the of, of what happened and, and the relationship we built. Um, this uh, family, well, my family, uh, one one of my relatives are a very, very personal close friend of yours. And um, as you do, as you do, people, you know, make, make bad, bad choices and they get married. So I'm um, not oh, saying yes, that marriage yeah. is a bad <laughs> choice, but uh, you know, decide what you want to say. This is guys oh, no, having a chat. Um, especially you with your wife sitting next to you and mine being due soon so um <laughs> he with with his marriage coming up we um 
we had a, a, a bachelor's party at another one of my uncle's houses uh, or, you know, at one of my uncle's house. And um, I remember you rocking up there, having just bought a new Ford Focus second hand that you were very, very proud of. Um, and I remember you and this relative of mine's older brother spent about half an hour when you arrived just chatting about the car because he's a car guy and you just bought a new car. And I remember that, but it was it was pretty much at his bachelor's party that um, that we were both invited to that we, we started having a conversation and you came up to me saying, I know you. And I'm thinking to myself, you look familiar, but I can't place you. And you came to me and you said, yeah. you were on a flight down to Cape Town around November 2007. And I'm like, that, yes, yes, yes. Now, now I'm starting. I, I think you were the people that were on the flight with me. And you said, well, you and your mom went down to Cape Town for an audit at the time. So um, then, then you know, the rest, the rest of the party, I don't think we should go into more detail. Yeah, we'll leave that. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> My wife says I've got selective memory or something like that. I actually have short-term memory loss. Uh, just don't tell her that story. Uh, but you know what? It, it, I remember that that day. Uh, I remember you talking about, you know, you're in this situation where you travel very far to get to the office or get to work. And, you know, as we are, you know, in being in accounting, um, yeah, we started talking about the day. You're almost like family, although we don't know each other quite well because, you know, best mate, you know, part of your family, we, we help each other. And, and I believe that's what relationships are a lot about. And, uh, yeah, you know, for me, thinking about relationships, where we started from there, uh, you came into, into a merger business that we went into and then... You know, at, at long last in 2014, October, we started JJT. Uh, and, and maybe you can tell us a bit more about uh, what does JJT stand for? Right. So um, <clears throat> the thing, things happen. And, and unfortunately, we were both forced into a situation where we had to make a decision about employment, uh, whether we were going to continue our employment with, with a specific um you know, with the, the merger firm that you were mentioning earlier. And so you and I spoke about, you know, what do we want to achieve and where do we want to go and, and where do we find our passions? And we, we found that we both share, I, I want to say passion, but it just sounds so cliche. I think, I think much more of an interest in servicing the small and medium enterprises in South Africa. And um, we realized that at the firm we were, uh, that's not going to happen. And uh, so you and I decided, no, we, we need to do something. But we also need, we're, we're going to need some help. And so um, since we both knew and liked your mom, I'm not sure about you, but I like your mom. So um, we, we, <laughs> so we, we decided to go and, <laughs> you have to, but you do anyway. Um, yeah. So for, for me, it was a matter of, you know, we, we had, we needed somebody with a bit more experience and some licenses and stuff that we didn't have at the time. And we thought about, you know, let, let's involve her and start looking for a merger or, or a, a, you know, a partnership, um, see, see how we can do things. And so, you know, about a week or so later, you know, JJT was founded after Mariette. Jacobs, Mariet Jacobs, your mom, Gerard Jacobs, you, and Jacques Talyard, um, me. So the JJT is Jacobs, Jacobs, Talyard, JJT. Um, and so, to, to be quite honest, when, when I resigned in 2017, I was quite surprised that you kept the name. So, uh, surprised and honored that I made such a well, lasting legacy there. No, you, you know what? It's, it's a legacy we start with, and we, we didn't want to throw it away. Um, I mean, it's it's where it started and, and that's where we want to keep it that's that's important for us is where did we start as jjt we never want to forget where we come from and why we do it you know it's it's an absolute why i mean for us and you know discussing a bit about where we're going as well is that you know we've kept in touch over the years um i mean you you left jjt in about 2016 
went a bit commercial, um, had a bit of fun, started Britera in what, 2017, am I right? Yeah. yeah I didn't go commercial, then, I went corporate. Slight difference. Corporate. Yeah, sorry. Corporate. corporate. Went corporate. <laughs> so, but I mean, you know, when you started Pratera and all during this time of the past, call it from even 16 when, when you left JJT, we still kept in touch. And I think that's, that's quite cool about the relationship we have, is that we kept in touch, we spoke to each other on a, on a, not regular basis like every day I have to speak to my wife kind of thing, but you know, we've, we've kept in touch. And from there, you know, I don't know, should, should we talk about what's going to happen now going forward and what has transpired in the past few months? Well, yeah, I think it would be a, a good idea. Um, so I guess this is kind of where, where the purpose of the video comes in um, or, or one of the reasons of the video. But I just wanted to mention that this is one of the reasons why you should never burn a bridge. Um, you, you don't Absolutely. want to burn your bridges. You know, I left JJT on, on good good terms with you. And when I found it, uh, you know, about seven or eight or nine months later, when I found a Pratera, well, not really found it, when I, when I got involved with Pratera, um, you know, you and your mom were some of the first people that I booked a meeting with to, to inform you of, of you know, the situation and what was happening. And I remember, you know, when when we, well, you had another appointment to get to, but when, when you pretty much left, you shook my hand, you said, Jock, if you ever want to come back to JJT, I'm looking for somebody um, and there will always be a place available for you. So it was a matter of, you know, leaving JJT and starting Pratira with, with that kind of, you know, send off to say that, go, you have your blessing and we'll always take you back if you want to come back type of thing, you know. That there's not a lot of people that leave a place of employment with that kind of relationship with with the with the people involved. So um, so for for the viewers of the Pratera Accounting Services channel, uh, you you might have guessed by now, but you know um, I've gone back to JJT. It's um, it's since 2016. I've been well 17. I've been doing Pratera over the last five years and. Um, as of the 1st of September 2022, I'm back with uh, JJT, and this is one of the reasons why we're making this video. Um, Absolutely. So and John, you know what? You know what? In actual fact, we don't even need to go and change the JJT name. You're still in there. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. That's true. Eh? That's true. Um, but yeah, so so just a, a quick reason as to why uh, why I've I've gone back. Um, I think I think this a, a couple of our viewers might might merit this question or might have this question. Um, in in all in all honesty, I've never been a very good salesman. You know, this channel has has grown a bit, and my company has grown quite a bit. But I found myself stagnating at a point and being relatively unsatisfied with my own development, but also with the growth of of Pratera. and. I've actually been considering mergers and acquisitions for about two years. You know, I've, I've had conversations with attorneys and with financial advisors, actually with two other accountants uh, or accounting businesses where, you know, we spoke about a merger or an acquisition type of situation. Um, and when lockdown eventually finally claimed two of my larger clients earlier in this year, I found myself with a bit of a cash flow issue. So when um, you offered me the merger opportunity, when you bought me lunch in August, it was already my mind was strategically i was mentally and strategically ready for it it was only a matter of considering the the details of the offer and uh, before my wife and i decided it's a good idea and as you all know any decision made without your wife is not always a good one um sometimes you need expert expert input and yeah, so um yeah. so that this leads me to to wonder why why did you invite me back why did you make make me the offer to to come back our job for us was all about we can't achieve everything in life just on our own. We, we can't achieve greatness by doing anything on our own. And for us, you know, my mom and I, we discussed quite a bit is that because of the amount of stuff that we need to deal with, we tend to create a bottleneck within our business. And we were discussing about, you know, who can we trust? Who, who do we know in the industry that knows 
how we like to do stuff. And there's only one name that came up. It was Jock. And, you know, we said then, and I heard, you know, you're looking at mergers and acquisitions and all that kind of stuff. I said, well, let me talk to you. And that's where we got together. And I think for us, it's an absolute honor to have you back with JJT. Uh, and let's say back home. It's great to have you back home. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Um, I've... So, so for the listeners or for the viewers here, uh, basically, so so Pratira has has officially merged with JJT. I'm back with JJT, Pratira Accounting Services, as a company, as a legal entity, technically still exists, but it's dormant. Um, all all the clients and assets and liabilities, everything's pr- pretty much transferred. I've bought into JJT. Um, it, it's a proper merger. This channel for the next year is going to keep refer- referencing to Pratira, but you will see the JJT name and the branding and all of that. Starting with this video, we'll do a, a logo review, a new logo review shortly. You can see on Gharat's shirt is uh, the old JJT logo. Um, no, that's the one. We'll, we'll do a bit of a, a new logo review in just a bit here. Um, and then the the for the next year, you'll you keep seeing the branding change and then in about a year or so from now the jjt logo is going to be the primary um primary logo that you will see so this is a a branding we're we're going to switch over to the jjt branding uh you will still see me on on the youtube channel but you will see a bit more of gerard as well and um yeah i think i think that's uh, i'll try to keep my beard well (laughs) (laughs) i i I don't want to endorse a bart willy but um (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> There's a couple of out there, but um, so Gerard, how would how would you just briefly summarize um, in terms of how our relationship has benefited you? I mean, I've I've benefited by by coming back to JJT. I've benefited by having an auditor that I could refer business to. Um, so if you could briefly just uh, summarize how how our relationship has benefited you as as Gerard from JJT. Well. Something I can say from my side is that, especially with you coming back home um, and being now officially operations director, me being development director, I'm good at speaking to people, bringing them in, signing up clients. You are very good at actually getting the work done, making sure that we get that quality we want to get out there into the client's boardrooms, into their computers you know that, that's what we expect we want high quality things we want to set the bar and actually exceed expectations um, so that's 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 how we benefit from it is a helping each other i mean you've got some clients you brought over we've got a lot of clients that we've been with with for very long and i mean we help each other and that's that's the main benefit i can say that i've found from it it's good to know. It's good to know. All right, everybody, um, especially viewers watching, uh, Pratera Accounting Services is now part of JJT. You can find more information about JJT. I'll share a couple of links in the description. Um, also, maybe one or two pop-ups if I can figure it out. Um, so we'll be, JJT's offices is in Etlian. And if you want to have a question or something like that, feel free to look us up, Etlian in Kempton Park. Uh, you're welcome to come in for a cup of coffee if, if one of us are there. Something else, Jock, shouldn't we probably say, guys, please subscribe and like. And this channel is going to be informative and, and we're going to keep on doing what Pratera has been doing and adding some new stuff, some great alliance stuff. Later. All right, some technical difficulties there, but we're back. Um, <laughs> all right, you, you were saying. Yeah, wh- where did you lose me? I was saying that, guys... Uh, from, from what I remember, uh, like and subscribe to the channel. There's some things that's coming up. Uh, a couple yeah. of the big topics that we discussed in the past on the channel will be revisited and updated. Um, you know, things such as how to calculate income tax, how to get a tax refund, what is provisional tax, you know, some VAT, VAT aspects and stuff like that will be specifically tax. Um, there will be a couple of, of tax issues, um, but also the the, va- the the value of a business valuation and how to do a business valuation or or um you know what is a business valuation not necessarily how to do it because it's very complex and tricky but um 
you know what it is and, and what it, it tells you <laughs> yeah um and then you you also were talking about some um, some alliance stuff yeah so we're going to do some alliance videos uh, with some of our alliance partners you know looking at some stuff from patents and trademarks and what it is now to use them or to where you can get them done um everything through to well <laughs> you know we've We've got so much that we're going to work through. It's going to be amazing, Jock. I'm, I'm so excited about it, though. Well, um, to give an idea, we already have um, 43 planned videos um, that, that we've planned already. Um, yep. you know, uh, one, one or two of them is going to be a bit sales pitchy. But, you know, it, <laughs> there has to be one or two sales pitchy ones in between there. We, we can't always just have... Uh, good content for everybody there. We, we kind of have to <laughs> do a sales pitch. And, and I think two or three sales pitch videos out of a total of 43. I think um, I think I think the, the viewers are, are welcome. You guys are welcome to um, to roll the dice on that one and come come and check out the videos. Um, but yeah, that's it from me, essentially. Great stuff, Jock. Thank you very much for having me. And, and I'm looking forward to this. Uh, it's going to be great. I'm also looking forward to the journey. Um, so far, you know, over the last couple of months, we've we've already come come quite a distance in terms of what's happening at JJT, and I yeah. think there is going to be benefit for not just the JJT stakeholders, but also the clients, our clients. And um, if we go ahead and and really successfully do these uh, the video products that we are planning in the next year then um then i think for the viewers of the channel it will be to their benefit as well absolutely and you know what something that that we actually haven't spoken about or put up as a, a possible video is the exciting stuff happening and, and hopefully by you know next year uh, or 2023 we'll be able to showcase the new home of jjt in terms of offices yeah, um, there's there's a couple of small changes happening. The vision we have, the five-year vision that we have for JJT, I think is much bigger than I think most people will, will believe or, or accept at this stage. I think there's we we are in a in a good position um, where we can work well together in a team and actually achieve those uh, those things. But uh, if if you're interested in watching, interested in finding out exactly what those things are and how they're going to to happen and what is going to happen and what they are they keep keep an eye on the channel might not be in the next you know six months or so could be could be uh, two three years even but things are happening uh we've already started to get the ball rolling it's a slow roll at this stage we still have to push hard but uh, it's gonna gain momentum and it's gonna happen it's just a matter of uh, do you want to keep keep watching and and see where we go um, as a friend of mine once said, when he mentioned this, he said, um, as I said, well, I got the ball rolling, watch the space. And he said, okay, where's the popcorn? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> thanks, Karat, for uh, for uh, joining me on the channel. Um, thanks for the interview. Thanks for having me back at JJT. And uh, yeah, let's do this. Let's do this. Great. All right. Thanks, John. Thanks um, for the viewers. Thank you for watching and uh, have a fantastic weekend.